Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video, we'll be talking about uh, some questions that was asked about Twin Motion, and these are related to things that we've done before. Some of these questions are things that you probably didn't really get the picture at the point, or maybe you just simply missed the step. Now, the first one is how can you change this? It's quite simple. The question is this: that if you want to change this, that is if I get it right, you need to go over to the materials, come over to ground select something like man-made and then you can have man-made grounds and now if you need something like nature you have to come through and get nature grounds i hope i get this right now if another question or maybe if this is not what you're asking probably you're asking how you can change the landscape so for you to be able to change the landscape you need to come over to this library click on vegetation and landscape go over to where you have landscape and then you can select the landscape you want Right now we have a very flat landscape and if you want a rocky grassland landscape, you have to click and drag it here. Depending on your computer power, it will take a lot of time. Okay, so this is definitely how you can do it. Now the next question is this, that how can you actually make a car drive and make the car park? Okay, so I think this is something I answered one time, but I'm still going to do justice to that real quick. So for you to actually make your car drive uh, to a point and park, this is what we're going to do. So just for clarity's sake, we're going to go over to furniture, go over to decals, and then we're going to find a parking symbol, right? So I'm just going to put this here. I think that's a little bit too small. Might not explain the idea. Yes, so we can put something like this. Now, this is what we're going to use to show how the cat packs. So how we can do this now is instead of coming over to here, all right, where you have cars, and drag the car and drop instead of doing this it doesn't mean you cannot instead of doing this i'm going to show you a very cool and easy way of doing that stuff so how you can do this real cool is to come over to this part here where you have uh, the urban setting and within this urban setting i'm going to select parts now within this part i don't want to select the the vehicle parts because if i do select the vehicle parts and start clicking and dragging guess what happens what happens is I get to see cars that would uh, automatically spawn and start driving around. And this is not what we want. We just want to have one car that should drive around. It doesn't mean you cannot change this. You can definitely change this to have just one car to drive. This would be cool, but this might not really be what you want because to every time that this car starts up, it spawns a new car. To every uh, stuff, or to every time we get to see a new car spawn out. So if I understand what you want correctly, what you want is how you can get one particular kind of car, a very specific one, and drive it to a point. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to click here and have this and delete that stuff. So we're going to get our car by coming back to the part where we have Urban, selecting this part, selecting a custom part, and we want our car to drive from a particular point like um, here. So we want our car to drive from here drive to this part drive here and make a good parking here i guess this is what we want so if this is what we want we are going to notice that we have a box that will travel through and this box that's traveling through is just a more like a sample object to what you can work with so next thing which we're going to do is come over to vehicles then come through to this part where we have cars and let's just look for a very nice car we can play with so this car looks good I don't know I think it looks good so we can have this particular car drive through and since uh, twin motion is real-time and it's being powered by unreal it simply means that at any point in time you can just simply update the path to as you want and then you can have the animation uh, simply play through and I think this might be a little bit too far for the time range we want uh, this tutorial to last so it's a little bit too far so I'm just going to go ahead and drag it real close so it's uh, this close so I think I guess this should work all right so let's just uh, come down to this car level and see what we have here so I'm just going to hold down shift and pan all the way down so you can see our car drives in and parks but our big problem now is as the car drives in and park we cannot stop the loop and what you probably want is at any point you want your car to just drive in and, and stop you want to uh, be able to stop the car at this point that's uh, the meaning of parking i guess so within the section where you have the loop what we're going to do is uh, we're going to click on loop and just say once and once we click on once what happens is the car just drives and it packs itself there 
it doesn't move anymore now if you want this to happen over time then you have to go back to the animation and you know set it up but now we just want the car to just pack and just stay there once we don't want it to move anymore and this is basically how you can get this to work i would like to know what you think about this and i guess i answered this question correctly if i still didn't do justice to it please put those comments so that i can know uh if i'm doing the right thing for you guys so the next question that we have here is a question from two or three different people and the question is this that whenever they set up their motions or their clips they can no longer move the camera and this is something that is quite simple let me explain this real quick whenever you are within the media mode okay so let's say you come over here to create a new clip if you click here and create a new clip twin motion automatically stores your camera position so if you have this camera position stored and you come over here and make a change and you come back to this place it stores the camera position so you cannot move this if you want to have multiple positions so i'm just going to uh, turn this off so if you want to have multiple uh, camera movement or let's say you want to update your camera movement within these parts i'm going to use this as a second example if you position your object around here so you have this object staying here or you have your camera staying here you need to come through and press this refresh button so it can update if you don't press the refresh button it doesn't update all right let me give you an example if i come here and let's say i want my camera to be here and i don't push this button if i click here one more time it goes back and i think this is the problem you're having when you say your camera doesn't update when you're within the clip so i guess this is the problem you're having so this is how you can solve it i think i covered something like this within the frequently asked questions i would still suggest that you guys go ahead and and take a quick peek at that and see how it works for you another question that was asked is you cannot set your daytime within your clip and all that stuff and this is something that you can do when you are working on an individual clip so if you are working uh, without a clip then you can set your daytime when you want your night to fall and all that stuff but once you've started making an animation twin motion understands that your animation needs to run from one point of the day to the next point of the day hence you have the start here and I think we covered this some time ago. So if you come through and just simply turn this all the way up or all the way down, you can set how you want your animation to start. So this is the mood you want your animation to start out with. And if you go over to this part where you have end, you can turn this down. And this might probably be the mood that you want your animation to end up with. The next thing which you can do is within individual clips, you can go through and change the weather condition. So you can have it uh, be a little bit without uh, a sky, or without clouds now and let's just increase the the sunlight a little bit okay and if you go back to this other one we can still come here and change how we want our lighting to be so we can say we want a little bit of more ambient and uh, we would like to have let's say rainfall or something so it is totally independent of what you are looking for so individual clips have individual stuff that they do so if you want to get your weather right your everything right you need to make sure that you set up the weather properly and you set up your lighting condition properly before you go ahead to start creating your clip else if you don't you need to go through and create them individually and this is about it and finally like i've always said whenever you're making your animations or something like this as far as it has reflections always try as much as possible to add a reflective or a reflection probe so, so we're going to just here and drop and add a reflection probe so you can come through and increase the size and then you can see we're having the reflection happening uh real way way better than what we had earlier right so if you want if you want to check this out you can you know simply come through and and check this out for yourself and see what it looks like all right so always uh, add a reflection probe at any point in time you can see now we have reflections happening here without the reflection we have the screen based reflection things you can find in other apps but now you're having a proper reflection and you know you can increase the brightness of the reflection if you want you can also increase the transition of the reflection and always update it at any point in time you make changes finally this is basically something i've talked about before if you don't get to find all of these artifacts you can come over to edit go to preference and make sure you have your artifacts turned on so if you come to appearance you can choose to see your visual helpers right you can choose to turn on the visual helpers turn it on and turn it off if you turn them off you'll probably not be able to see them if we come back here and turn them back on 
you'll be able to see your visual helpers and basically i guess this is all about it if you have questions about what we've done in previous videos or maybe you have questions about this please please put them in the comment section below and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share with your friends and if you're new here it would be awesome if you can just go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, so that you'll be the first to know once we upload a new video and until i see you guys again with the tutorial review free friday updates tips and tricks things like this guys peace